ladies and gentlemen i regret to inform you that the world is ending oh my god guys it's actually here the end of the world is here it's been told it's been foreseen it's been predicted by none other than the blind mystic baba vanga so baba Va blind mystic baba vanga predicts end times starting in 2025 guys that's bad because it's like already july 2024 that means we're gonna die in like uh like less than a year help man these doomsday preppers must be really uh getting a kick out of this now that must be them they all must be like hey, I'm, I'm glad i prepared for this i wish you guys prepared for this or man it sucks that you guys aren't ready to die so for those of you who don't know who baba vanga is so her her actual name is I'm gonna botch this so bad. Vangelia Pandeva Gusterova. <laughs> it's Bulgarian. Uh, so she's commonly known as Baba Vanga. It was a Bulgarian attributed mystic and healer who claimed to have foreseen the future. And actually, uh, which is funny, funny, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but uh, One Punch Man actually had her as a cameo in one of their uh, episodes. I believe it was in the end of season one where uh, they had the, the, the what's it called? The Force, the Seer come in and say that the world is ending and it basically looked exactly like baba vanga here but it had a different name some kind of a different name for the show but yeah it was pretty cool pretty cool cameo you guys should check out one punch man it's amazing season two sucks though forget season two so you might be asking like who the heck is baba vanga and who like who is this elderly woman who is predicting the future well she actually has some some credit to her name actually you should check this out her work uh, is she has some predictions some some predictions attributed to her by her followers include World War II, so she predicted World War II. But then you can say you can also say like I mean if you, it depends on like the timeline, right? Because if you knew that you know the Germans they were invading Poland in 1939, and then you're like in 1939 you just say oh World War II is gonna happen. That's kind of a stretch. It's kind of a stretch. But if she predicted World War II and like they. 1800s which is not possible because she was born in 1911 <laughs> then uh yeah it's that's a stretch but other than the world war ii she also predicted the breakup of the soviet union czechoslovakia and yugoslavia she also predicted the chernobyl disaster the date of stalin's death the date of Tsar Boris III's death and the date of her own death. Man, guys, that imagine knowing when you're going to die. That must be that must be really stressful. Like I would not know when I'm going I would not want to know when I will die, like for sure. So I can't even imagine, man. That must suck. The sinking of the Russian submarine Kursk. I have no idea what that is. Oh, Princess Dan Diana's death. Okay, that's interesting. 1985 Northern Bulgaria earthquake. Oh, okay. The September 11 attack. So she actually predicted 9-11. That is crazy. Also, 24, 2004 Boxing Day tsunami. And also the election of an African-American as the 44th president of the United States. So she predicted that Obama, not Obama specifically, that was going to be the president. That's actually pretty crazy. And so like most of her predictions apparently come true. But we have breaking news, guys. Just on July 9th, which is not today, it was not yesterday, it was a long time ago. In internet time. So, <laughs> Blind Mystic Baba Vanga predicts end time starting in 2025. Okay, let's see what we got here. So Blind Mystic Blind Mystic Baba Vanga predicted that the end times will begin in 2020, 20, uh, 2025, New York Post reported. She was also known as Vangelia, okay, there's a name, <laughs> a blind Bulgarian clairvoyant, famous for her supposed ability to foresee the future. Baba Vanga foresees the end times in 2029, but says humanity won't be wiped out until 5079. That's interesting. So basically, the, the world is going to start to end next year, but we're not going to die, like fully be wiped out until 3000 years from now, over 3000 years from now, apparently. So that's cool. We got we got a little bit of leeway. We got a little bit of uh, a leeway with that. Yeah, a grace, a grace period, as they say. Often called the Nostradamus of the Balkans, she is believed to have predicted events like 9/11, as we just saw before, and also the war in Ukraine, which is currently going on, uh, according to the Sun. There's no official record of her predictions of or their accuracy, though. So it's just like by word of mouth. But basically, she's yeah, she's the foreseer of the future. However, the latest of Vanga's eerie predictions that have come to light is her claim that the world will end in 2025, as reported by various sources. And as we just said before, humanity won't be wiped out until 50 to 79, but the beginning of the apocalypse will start in 2025. So what is like, I'm confused, like how is the world going to end? We gotta, we gotta figure out what, 
what she predicted. Oh, that's too bad. She also passed away in 1996. Um, rest in peace. But she made all these predictions. That's crazy, though. 1996. That means she made the 2011... Or no, blah. She made the 9-11 attacks and the uh, the prediction of the 9-11 attacks and the prediction of Barack Obama becoming president and the end of the world in 2025 before she passed away. That's pretty crazy. Kudos, man. Kudos to you. Some reports suggest that Vanga warned that the world would end in 2023 due to nuclear bioweapons in a solar storm. So that's actually very plausible, right? Because like, I mean, the, the Earth could very well end in nuclear warfare. It could also end by the sun just just taking a starting, uh, just deciding to take to blow a huge fart one day. And then it, the sun farts on us and we die pretty much. Nothing we can do against a giant solar storm, you know? Earth's magnetic sphere can only protect, protect us from so much guys like it's doing a great job right now that's i mean you don't have you have no idea how lucky we how lucky we are have you seen the the chart with like the the earth and the magnetic field around it blocking everything solar radiation dude that is crazy mars doesn't have that and that's why we can't we can't go there right now so vanga's predictions for the end of humanity here we go so in 2025 a conflict in europe will devastate the continent's population that's interesting so like that's kind of scary because it could actually happen because right now we have the um the the ukraine war in europe going right now i think there's there's some tensions with you know russia and, and nato uh so that i mean that is very very possible which hopefully hope to god that never happens though um so by 2028 so three years later humans will be will begin to explore venus as an energy source that's interesting okay because we already send like probes to venus before and we've landed on the, the surface of venus and took pictures but i don't think we can actually i don't know if he means explore venus like in person because we can't do that right now our spacesuits can't handle it but maybe we could like, and maybe by 2028 we can though. I have no idea. That's only four years from now though. But uh, yeah, currently we, we don't have the technology to put a human on uh, Venus. So maybe they mean, maybe she means like uh, probes and stuff. But they say Venus was basically like Earth like billions of years ago though. And it just became terrible. The year 20, 2033 will see the polar ice caps melt, causing sea levels to rise drastically worldwide. Well, I don't think the drastic sea level rise will won't be the only problem because if the so if the polar ice caps melt then we are going to die of thirst because that's our only way of getting water clean drinking water but technically we can have the technology to turn salt water into clean drinking water but it just costs too much energy to do apparently according to some other science stuff i read earlier <laughs> oh here we go in 2076 2076 guys i will still be alive by then communism will spread throughout through two countries across the globe okay we're all going to become communist all right it's been decided <laughs> by 2130 humans will make contact with aliens okay that is a stretch okay i'm not saying it's a stretch because aliens don't exist i totally believe in aliens because imagine our galaxy has 400 what 400 billion stars and in each star, there's like a, um, a range of one to 10 planets. And in those 10 planets that are in the Goldilocks zone, which is like the habitable zone of the, the solar system, maybe about one or two or one at least, I guess, in, in each of the star systems four, times four billion. And there's like what? There's like trillions of galaxies in the universe. So times that by trillions of galaxies it's like come on man there, there's no way there isn't other life outside earth right it's just there's no there's just no way there has to be other life besides us it just doesn't make sense that there wouldn't be it's not like we're super special <laughs> it, it maybe not even like intelligent life like us but there could be uh microbial life and on the microscopic level you know life on the microscopic level on the cellular level you know what i'm saying okay a drought will devastate much of the world in 2170 okay that's that's not good i think the drought before 2170 though i think the polar ice caps melting will cause a drought quicker than that wouldn't it i guess or no because the sea or sea levels will rise never mind I'm, I'm stupid forget that in 3005 so we're in the 3000s now earth will go to war with a civilization on mars what oh that's that's like some what's that show the expanse that's like that's like some expanse shit bro by okay so eight about 800 years later 3797 humans will have to vacate earth because it will have become inhabitable finally in 5079 the world will end 
But how I'm so curious how the world will end though, because if we're already off the earth, right? Are you just saying that the earth will end, I guess, because of some reason? I don't know. I have no idea. I would like to know. I would honestly like to know what's going to happen in 5079. So uh, Vanga's not the first person to predict like the end of the world. The Mayans, we all knew the, the whole thing with the Mayans believing that the world would end in 2012 because that's when their calendars would end. That, that's when their calendars ended. There was also a movie. Not too bad of a movie, to be honest. It was okay. You should check it out. Um, also, this is kind of scary, though. Uh, the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists also provides a yearly estimation of their doomsday clock. This year, the doomsday clock was set to 90 seconds to midnight for the second year in a row, indicating the world's unprecedented danger. Last year, the clock was also set to 90 seconds to midnight, marking the closest it has ever been to midnight in the history of the clock. Guys, the world is ending. Okay, pack your things, get all the, grab all the toilet paper from Walmart. God, God's about to do a big domain expansion on us. We're all gonna die in 2025. You got, you gotta be prepared, bros. <laughs> anyway, I just saw this and I, I, I've seen people do videos on Baba Vanga in the past before. I think, I think Charlie, Moist Critical, Penguin Z Zero did one like a long time ago. Uh, but this article just came out really recently and, you know, if the world's gonna end in 2025, man, I'm, I better get this, we better get to a thousand subscribers. So let's get to a thousand subscribers <laughs> before 2025 guys hit that subscribe button smash that like button do all that stuff that youtubers always beg people to do then i'm begging you to do as well also check out my twitch links in the description below bye